Hi there, I wanted to show you a really cool new feature in OneNote to do with uh, maths capabilities that are in here. So I have hand drawn uh, this equation here in this page in OneNote. I'm looking in the OneNote app in Windows 10. If I just grab my lasso tool over here and lasso that, and then I'm just going to go up to maths here in the top in the draw menu into maths and you can see that it recognizes uh, the equation that I've written now. If there is things wrong with it you can go fix it and you can go back here and just identify which parts is wrong so it gets it right. It's pretty good at recognizing. You can see my O's, my zero here is pretty bad but it recognizes that so you can go ink to maths. So now we've got an equation that is now inked into maths and now we can do the actions uh, solve for x. So we're going to get some solutions and we're going to get some uh, ways that we can solve that equation. So inter interestingly factorizing is not one of the options here but uh, completing the square is one of the ways you can do it and we can then go to immersive reader which will read out the solution step. So not only is OneNote solving this equation it's also giving us the how you would solve it and then it's also going to use immersive reader to tell us and read, it, read that solution out, which is pretty cool. Steps for completing the square. Quadratic equations such as this one can be solved. Right, so I'm gonna pause that there. So again, I've got all the options here in uh, Immersive Reader to change the line focus to picture dictionary to even translate this into a different language if I wanted to, the grammar options and also the text preferences in terms of size, uh, background, font and all of that sort of thing. All right, so let me get out of there. The extra thing that's really cool in here that I want to show you today is um, if I want to create some uh, extra questions based on this question here that, uh, that I've just done in uh, OneNote. So down the bottom of this page here, I've got generate a practice quiz. Right, so I'm going to hit generate a practice quiz and it's going to firstly ask me how many questions do you want to create. So it's going to give me some similar questions to the one that I just did. So you can go for three or four however many and then just hit generate quiz. So this uh, is using forms in the background, it's automatically created that and it puts that quiz directly on that page in OneNote. But it also, if you go to forms, you will see that quiz is sitting there. All right, so if I close this window on the side here, you can see it's now generating the three questions that I want based on that original question. So if you start with something that looks like a linear equation, it will, it will give you uh, linear equations of the approximate uh, standard that you've, that you've got here. So if I uh, go off to Microsoft Forms now, it'll go in, into my browser and open Forms and I would be able to see the answers to any of these questions here. Now by default, it's uh, got so that people have to put their email in so you know who it is. Um, uh, who has submitted the form. So if you then push this page straight out to students, for example, they would then be able to see those um, uh, see those questions and you would be able to see their answers to that. So that's the extra thing there in OneNote that's pretty cool, generating a practice quiz based on a question that you have got on that page.